Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy of News Gear, Crypto Queen. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Please know that this is not financial advice. I am only here to entertain you and to remind you to buy on red candles. Pepe, let's talk about Pepe. This is the first video that I've ever made about this little crappy meme coin, and it probably is going to be the last because of what has transpired with it. You know, this was being pumped really hard by a lot of different people. And people were, you know, buzzing about it on Twitter. And it seemed like it was going to be like the new big community coin. I kind of got like Saitama vibes from it almost, right? And it was interesting, you know, because it seemed like it really was not a typical crap coin that comes and goes in like a week or two. Like, this looked like, hey, we might have a little bit of staying power here. And one of the interesting things about this is that it did have a security feature in there. So it had a multi-sig wallet, meaning that, you know, you need a bunch of different people to sign on and use their keys to unlock the wallet. And it needed eight, right? Well, today in one of the Coindesk articles that we see here, they have posted a tweet and it says, Done by Crypto Naughty, by the way. Any reason why the Pepe multi sig wallet changed the threshold to just two of eight signatures? Seems weird. This isn't the standard, right? Also, seems that some have been sent to the exchanges. Well, those tokens that were moved off into the exchanges were sold off. So the developers took a bunch of the tokens and sold them through the different exchanges. Hmm. Jeez, if there was only a, a word for that, like some kind of word that could be used to, you know, signal to people what was going on. Rug. Rug pull. That's, that's the vibe here. Rug pull, right? Don't get caught up and what other people are saying on Twitter, because, you know, I'm I'm like reading through the tweets. And now what a lot of the people who I'm sure are holders are saying is that, oh, you know what? Now the team doesn't really have control. Now this is going to be a full community token. And we've got this from here, guys. And we could pump this like SHIB. And here we go. Don't get swept up in all of that. Okay. For, forget about that. I know what you're thinking like, oh, but yeah, doesn't that make sense that if they did sell like an abundance of those tokens that we could control it? How do you know how many tokens exactly that they have? How do you know that they don't have like a hundred other wallets that are filled with all of these other tokens that they're just waiting to dump on the market? They're, maybe they're sitting back waiting that the community is going to speak like this and they're just waiting. Maybe the price is going to pump even higher and then they're going to sell those to we just don't know right we just have no way of 100% knowing exactly how many tokens those devs do have in different wallets so what so what people are like oh there's 2% only 2% left in there that's we got it from here what are you going to do with a crap coin what are you going to do with, with a token that's strictly a community token that, I don't know, does it have like a whole bunch of utility that I don't know about? Is there really any kind of value there? I don't think so. So my advice to you, and like I said, not financial advice, my advice to you just because I'm a caring person and I'd hate to see you lose any more money than possibly you already have, uh... I would go ahead and start getting out of Pepe because once people realize what's going on with it, you know, not everybody watches the charts every single day. And this just really started to happen. As soon as they find out, they're they're going to start dumping out of this, right? As a matter of fact, let's take a little peek to see what's going on over at Dex Tools. I was watching Dex Tools before uh, I made the video. I mean, this is so sad. You can see the holder count. This They have 138,000 holders. This was an incredible community token. Why did, why did the developers do this, right? Because they're greedy. They wanted their money. They don't care about the, the community. All they want is their dough. And here, you know, it looks like there are some big buys here, but I want you to focus on this 
See this little thing right here? That means that it's a bot, a smart contract that is purchasing up this token. And those, you know, that's 22 ETH right there. That's a bot buying that because inevitably that bot is going to turn around and sell it the minute that it's a little bit up and there's always a way to make money for them. But if you scroll down, like there are massive, massive sells. I saw a sell before for like 100 ETH. And it wasn't a bot, like five ETH, uh, seven, no, that's a bot, two ETH, two ETH, not that that's a lot, two and a half ETH, but I'm, I'm just looking for ones that are not uh, bot contracts, six ETH, five ETH, six ETH, five ETH, five, like, and like I said before, there was one for a hundred ETH. 100 ETH. Do you really think that someone that has 100 Ethereum, Ether, worth of a certain cryptocurrency, um, that that's not the big money, the smart money that knows what they're doing and they're dumping the heck out of it because they can see what is in store for the future here with Pepe. It could have been a nice thing. It could have been a really great thing. But these greedy devs, when it boils down to it, they know 100% why they created this cryptocurrency. They created it to make money and get wealthy. They don't care who gets hurt in the interim. They don't care that they've stolen all of this money from different community people, because even though it's, you know, it's 138,000 people that are holding in this project, that's a lot of people. Uh, how many of those people bought on the way up? They bought on the green candles. They could have bought at the very height of the chart. And those people now are like way in the red. They don't care about that. All they care about is making their money and getting the heck out of Dodge and enjoy spending their money. They're probably, you know, probably at a Lambo dealer right now, picking out the color Lambo they're going to have and, you know, super excited. They're all retired now. So don't get sucked up in the idea. Because a lot of people on Twitter are saying, you know what, this is a community coin now. This belongs to us. Here we go. We're going to pump this back up. You know, Pepe is still alive. Don't always get caught up in the rah, rah, rah of what everybody else is saying. Number one, do you really know any of those people on Twitter? Who knows how many of those people are, you know, fake alt accounts that the developers that robbed you are sitting there saying that stuff. You just don't know. So play it to, if I owned Pepe, I'd be dumping the heck out of it. I would want, if I had any little bit of profit, I would be pulling it out immediately. And don't even go on Twitter because like everybody on Twitter is like, oh, take your money and take it from here and move it over there. Once again, you don't know who those people actually are that are advising you to get into this new so-called new community coin that's going to be just as big as Pepe. It's a new Pepe. Don't listen to that stuff. I think the best thing that you could do with any little bit of profit or any money that you're taking out of Pepe right now is to buy Bitcoin, is to buy those cryptocurrencies that are going to withstand the test of time. Bitcoin was made back in 2009. Those cryptos that have withstood the test of time and actually have utility behind them and are going to continue to carry through that value into well, 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 well into the future. So please just, you know, try not to lose any more of your money with this Pepe. But I do wish you all the best of luck. And I thank you so much for popping by my channel. Until next time, remember, try to only buy on those red candles, but not Pepe. You know, it's a red candle, but not that one. Take care.